reassure the woman that the procedure is finished and that she is no longer pregnant. The staff should continuously monitor the woman in the recovery room, which should be comfortable and adapted to her needs, like for pain control medication. The patient should be monitored for any signs of complications, such as increasing pain and bleeding. Assess the patient to ensure that bleeding has settled. Offer to address any emotional needs a woman might have immediately after the procedure. She may leave the facility once she feels good and has not had any signs of complications. Ensure that the woman has all necessary information and medications before leaving, including the family planning information and method. After uncomplicated MVA procedure, patients does not require routine follow-up, but follow your own local protocols. What the patient needs to know on discharge after a first trimester MVA procedure. It is normal to have some vaginal bleeding, and this may be heavier than a menstrual period. Bleeding can last from one to two weeks, but it should get lighter over this time. She may experience some cramping like period pain, which can last up to five, seven days after the procedure. During the following days, if fever, chills, pelvic pain with bleeding or spotting, or abnormal vaginal discharge persists or gets worse, this may be signs of infection. She should visit her provider. Infection should be treated according to the local guidelines. Also, consider ectopic pregnancy if the aspirated content of the uterus is not consistent with the estimated gestational age or if chorionic villi or gestational sac cannot be identified during the tissue inspection. Complications are rare with the first trimester MVA, but can occur at the time of procedure or after the patient has been discharged. It is important to have your own protocols in place in your facility to identify and manage those complications. Every facility providing abortion services must be able to treat immediately or refer women with hemorrhage. Recommend to the patient to avoid sexual intercourse, douching, or placing anything in the vagina until heavy bleeding stops. Robust documentation is important for high-quality abortion care. All decisions and the rationale for intervention should be accurately documented, together with any drugs administered and procedures carried out. This process not only supports safe and effective care for the patient, but contains essential information if she returns with complications. These records also provide the basis for quality audits of the service, and it is also important for those settings where healthcare delivery is dependent on reimbursement from the government or insurance companies.